Should you be worried about your penis size? Maybe you should, at least when it comes to what scientists would call short-term mating success. Penis size is probably not as relevant when it comes to finding a partner for life. From my professional perspective, I would say penis size is overrated. But is it possible that we are in the middle of an evolutionary change where penis size will become more important in the future? Or where it already has become more important? If this is the case as proposed in one scientific article, then many of you should indeed start to worry. My name is Stefan Buntrock and I'm a board-certified urologist and sexologist. Follow along this educational video where I focus on scientific sociological research on penis size. If you have watched my videos on penis size, you know about concepts like normal distribution and the fact that most men don't differ much when it comes to penis size. In evolutionary thinking, one could argue that penis size has gone through a long process of selection, eventually resulting in where we are today. And because evolution never stops, nature occasionally produces extraordinarily large or small penises to refine the selection process. This is how evolution works. Trial and error, survival of the fittest. Recently, I came across a scientific article from 2016 looking at penis size from a sociological angle. I will link the article in the description. It raises some doubts about evolution as the sole determinant of penis size. What if culture messed up evolution? Basically, I think it is safe to say that penis size plays a role for some women. I uploaded a video about it. If you are interested, here's the link. However, the important question is about freedom of choice. Evolution would only drive penis size if women were free to choose. Historically, there were many limitations to that. See, our ancestors used to live in small bands. Life focused on survival much more than today and in addition, there were very few people around, so the supply of candidates for mating was scarce. Arranged marriage was the predominant form of mating in ancient societies. Sure enough, cheating was always an option, but by and large, women were left with few choices. For thousands of years, choosing a mate was the business of the parents. But then industrialization came along. It really took off by the middle of the 19th century in most countries. Historically speaking, this was just a minute ago. With technology, there came prosperity and wealth, which made life more predictable and safe. So survival wasn't the primary goal in life anymore. Instead, in post-industrial societies, intimate relationships have begun to center around intimacy and sexual satisfaction. In today's Western societies, women are given choices like never before in history. One should also take into consideration short-term versus long-term mating strategies. Long-term strategies are about having kids and raising a family. Penis size would not be that important in this scenario, whereas it could be when it comes to casual sex, in other words, short-term mating. In human societies, long-term strategies are the predominant ones, which takes off selection pressure from penis size. However, selection pressure has somewhat shifted towards larger penises given the fact that dating and mating have changed substantially during the last few years, which is a millisecond in evolutionary terms. Today, it has become much more accepted to have children with different partners. It is not stigmatizing anymore. Most probably for the first time in human history, evolution will have much more influence on penis size. It has been predicted that future generations will have larger penises than what is standard size today. So yes, for the men living today, there is some reason to worry because their penises will not find any mercy in the eyes of evolution. On the other hand, much of this fear is unfounded, especially when it comes to comparing oneself with porn actors or other owners of extraordinarily large penises. They are not the norm. If you want to know who is responsible for penis size, I mean genetically, then watch this video. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.